You're with Third Eye View. Thank you for joining us again. Um, wherever you guys are listening from, YouTube, just in your car, at home, whatever you guys are doing, thank you for joining us again. I'm with my main man, 318 Justice. You're with Zombie. And like I said before, this is Third Eye View. How's it going, brother? It's going good. It's been a crazy-ass week, but we still alive. Bro, it has been a crazy ass week. <laughs> we 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 chilling out here though, so that's good. We have a lot of exciting news to tell y'all. Yeah, so I mean, this is today is the eleventh that we're filming this. Um, I'm gonna definitely try to have it out by tomorrow night, so we you know because we're gonna do our super Super Bowl predictions and the halftime show. Kind of, uh, we're gonna go over that a little bit. And what we think that's gonna be? That's just gonna be popping the fuck off. So intro. Boom. So this year, like I said in the last fucking podcast, for whoever watched, I'm going to put a link up top. Fucking Bengals, Rams, let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. Ready, I'm starting no stopping Aaron Donald. Vaughn, I'm just like. saying, I called that shit last podcast. I was like, it's going to be Bengals, fucking Rams, dude. You did, though. I did. Joe Burrow's on a mission, bro. On a fucking mission. I, I love the Bengals, and I love seeing new blood in the Super Bowl and everything. But I think, I don't see... um. Staff, you want to see Stafford get his ring, and you want to see Von Miller. You want to see your boy Von. Well, yeah, I, th like deep down, I want to see Von Miller and them win. But just like looking from a like uh, because I used to play and shit, I don't see fucking the offensive line stopping Aaron Donald and uh, Von Miller because they played. Who they play in the playoffs again? Okay, so they played the 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 Raiders and they beat them by a touchdown. And how many times did Joey Burrow get sacked? Joe Burrow got sacked in that game, an all-time record in the playoffs, nine times. Nine times by a fucking washed Raiders defense. I'm going to put an article up right now. Nope. They're, out of, they're not playing no Raiders defense. They're playing all-stars, dude. Fucking dude. Vaughn Miller, Aaron Donald, yeah. Jalen Ramsey. And then and then they played, after that, the, the Titans. And Joe got sacked a few times, if I remember. But they fucking washed up. I mean, that went to overtime. Beat him by a little bit. Then we all saw the Chiefs game. Oh, no, the Chiefs game went over time. Never mind. No, no, the Titans game went over time, too. Oh, fuck, dude. See, like, they're, like, the, it's a miracle that they're kind of even in it. Yeah. And they played some okay teams, but they haven't played the Rams yet, dude. They beat the Chiefs, man. They beat the Chiefs fucking by a, a field goal. Hair. By, uh, by a field goal. <laughs> oh, dude, I really... Damn. Power off. Do you Are still your hear headphones? me? Yeah, no, but I still, I still hear you. Huh? It is what it is. I All don't right. know if you guys heard that in the podcast, but my headphones were like power off, and I can still hear everything. So we're <laughs> gonna, we're gonna keep going. Um, but no, dude. Okay, so no, we're still going, dude. Mm, I really hope it's gonna be a close game. I hate it when there's a fucking clap of the Super Bowl, bro. Like, yeah, well, how can you end the year like that, you know? It better be close like how those playoff games were and mm -hmm. shit. Or... Like, it better just be all hype for nothing. Yeah. Like, I, I just really hope I, like, I want to see the Rams win, but I hope that it isn't a fucking shit show for the Bengals. Yeah, dude. Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey. You got a fucking, you got a task, my man. Joey... Bring it home, please, bro. Bring it home. Jamar Chase has more yards than Antonio Brown, Randy Moss, uh, a few other, like, legends. Go. In their first two seasons. Bro, like, I'm a Vikings fan, and everyone was on all hype about Justin Jefferson, you know, his rookie year, and everyone was like, oh, my God, the man's beating fucking uh, Ray, not Ray Rice, fucking, uh, you know, the Vikings um, the wide receiver that went, you know, all pro. Yeah, Randy Moss. Like they're beating, he's beating like almost close to beating Randy Moss's rookie year record and all that stuff. And then boom, Jamar Chase comes out of nowhere and it's just like bloop, bloop. Oh, it destroys it, dude. And everybody in this offseason was like, Oh, this man can't catch a fucking ball. Like, he's getting all scared. But even he said that um that's why he sat last year out of like college just because he fucking didn't want to play um in a stadium with no people. He said he he was never ever played a game where there's nobody in the stadium. Like he played he sat that whole year where there was, you know, nobody allowed in the stadiums in twenty twenty. He said, Fuck that shit. And he just did yeah. So he's never ever played. So in the off season that's that was what, a little shaky. That's what he was like fucking with him because it's practice, you know, you're on an NFL team, you know, 
first round fucking pick, so he's like, you know, shaky. And then he gets into the field, fucking first game, you know, he's just like, damn, all right, this is where I'm at. And then just goes off. So that's what, like, I heard about that. I was like, that man's just fucking, oof, dude. And then he has T. Higgins, who's just a little sly dog, dude. Like, for real, I'm just, I'm a Denver fan, and I'm disappointed with Jerry Judy. I thought he was a first round, he was in the first round, thought he was going to be really good. Kind of sucks. Yeah, dude. No. And <laughs> we're we're both in hot water, bro. I mean, I got Kirk Cousins for fuck's sakes, dude. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 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 but anyways, all right, quick, quick, real fast, real like fast, that? real fast. What do you think the score is going to be of the Super Bowl? 28 to 13. 28, 13. Damn. Rams. Ooh. Okay, why, okay. Why 13? I don't know. They missed the PAT or something. They missed the PAT. <laughs> that know. shit got blocked. Know. All right, all right. I'm thinking that this shit's going to come down to the fourth quarter, right? Obviously, come down in the fourth quarter. Everyone's gonna be like, "We're gonna go fuck." We're, like, kind of like I feel like uh, almost what is gonna happen in the Chiefs game, where like they're like, "We're going to overtime," you know, like, but they don't go into overtime. These motherfuckers score a game-winning touchdown. Jamar Chase, I'm fucking calling it. Sixty-two yard fucking touchdown from Joe Bird or J- Jamar Chase in the fourth quarter to win this shit. Putting my money on it. Who's their running back? <laughs> Mixon, right? Mixon, dude. Is they might, dude. They might just because everyone's gonna expect Jamar and yeah, Burrow like and Higgins. A, they might just run that ball, dude. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah, because it's gonna be hard with fucking Donald, bro. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. I really hope it's not a just a, a absolute shit show. It just Joe Burrow like gets fucking hit, fucking, fucking breaks his leg first goddamn oh, play, no. dude. Yeah, like just gets destroyed <laughs> by fucking uh, Aaron Donald, dude. Like, ugh. You know, Aaron's just sitting there fucking bench pressing, like I'm gonna get this motherfucker. I'm gonna get this motherfucker this weekend, man. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. Like, my my <laughs> my other prediction is fucking Vaughn to need another MVP. Mm. Is Von Miller in the um the Hall of Fame? No, but he's in Broncos Hall of Fame. I think I remember you telling me that. Like, what the fuck's up with the Hall of Fame? Why he's, is that? He's Broncos all time leads uh all time sack leader. He had a Super Bowl MVP. I mean, that's just as good as fucking being in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. It's the fam's Hall of Fame. He's going to be in the ring of fame and shit, but I don't know if he'll make it to the... the we won't know if in, until 10 years down the fucking road. Literally. <laughs> like, the man might Unless die. he's a fucking Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning, you really don't fucking know. Or Tom Brady. Yeah, or fucking... Yeah, like Aaron... Yeah, like Russell Wilson. Do you think Do you think Aaron's going anywhere? Or do you think this is just publicity? I can't even say that word. Fuck publicity. Me. Like Plub- just... Some... Pl- pl- Fuck you guys. This is gonna be a blooper. Fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> Say it again, Say it again. Do you think it's a publicity stunt? There, there we go. go, baby. There we go. Yeah, I can't talk do English. Do you think it's a publicity stunt? Um, I low key do think Aaron Rodgers is gonna get the fuck up out of there because, like, in, in in I mean, I don't think it's a, a publicity stunt. I don't know if you saw the post game when they were talking to him like via Zoom. And they just kept asking him all the questions, you know. And he kept like, you know, obviously saying, "Oh no, there's a lot of decisions to be made." But he made this one comment. This one, like, you know, feel, and I can try to pull up, like, a quote of it, and I'm not quoting it, you know, for sure, but he said somewhere along the lines, he's like, there's been talk about a, a rebuild this draft, and, like, I'm at the end of my, like, you know, time, you know, I only have a few years left, I don't want to be part of a rebuild. Yeah. And, like, I don't blame you, man. You're, like, 30 fucking 8 years old. Like, you can't be part of a rebuild. You only got, like, three years left, maybe. So, like, so it's, like, that right there is what got me, like, oh, shit. If there actually, <laughs> if there actually is a rebuild, like, if they try to do that shit, Aaron's gone, bro. Yeah. Aaron's gone. But, you know, you don't know any of that behind-the-scenes shit. I'm a Denver fan. There's a lot of rumors. Do I know him or Russell Wilson, but I don't think Russell's going anywhere. I think Russell's staying. I think out of, because there's three quarterbacks that, you know, Tom Brady, everyone's thinking, you know, might leave. Aaron Rodgers or fucking um, Russell Wilson. And out of the three, I think fucking Aaron would go to the Broncos. Tom Brady's gone. Tom Brady, Tom Brady ain't retired, bro. Yeah, he is. I know. I know. Yeah. Tom Brady is retired technically, but Gronkowski retired and he's coming back. Tom Brady's coming back. No. He's done. You think he's done? Why, why do you think he's done? I just, I, 
I'm gonna be upset if he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, please don't come back. We're fucking done with you. We get it. We fucking get yeah, it. Yeah, we get it. You're a fucking brain. Like, did you see that picture he posted? I'm sorry, but he's not the GOAT. Oh, yeah. Like, everyone says he's the greatest of all time. He's not. I think it's so hard to, like, compare to, like, have even a greatest. I feel like there's a greatest of all, like, era. There's a QB that played, like, when the NFL first started, and he played for seven seasons, and he won six championships. Nobody even knows who the fuck that guy is, too. Yeah, because he was so far back, but... Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, OG football fans and shit. And that's what I'm saying is, like, I feel like it's, like, every era, there's a goat, you know? Like, you can't be saying that, like... Randy Moss nowadays would be an, an, an MVP. I'm sorry. That man would not be an MVP. Like, that man back then was, like, one of the biggest fucking wide receivers back then. They're like, holy fuck, shit, this man's, like, 6'6". Six, six. Goddamn. And now every goddamn wide receiver is 6'6", six, six, exactly. six, seven, bro. And they're all, like, superhumans, bro. Isn't it crazy how, like, Michael Vick literally changed the whole, the whole, like, QB yeah. game? There's no such thing as pocket passers anymore. Like, they're all mobile. Dude, I love a mo like no like the last the last pocket passer. I mean, I guess Tom Brady, like whatever. But uh, Peyton Manning, that man would never leave the pocket. For that man would just take a four man sack before he fucking took two steps out of that pocket. You like you'd see it like replays. That man would just be like, I'm just gonna fucking literally, take it down. Like he wouldn't even try to fucking run. Like it was once Peyton Manning left, bro. Every goddamn quarterback in this bitch would be, be running, dude. Literally, like Lamar Jackson. Who? When that man Another came out of nowhere, when that man came out of nowhere, and they were like, "He's supposed to be a wide receiver," and he's like, "Fuck you." Remember when Vine was a big thing? Yeah. So there's this video uh, when he was in high school. His high school team looked a lot like the Bengals. It's like a tiger stripes on his helmet and shit. He does a front flip over a dude that's about to tackle him into the end zone, and that's when I first like saw Lamar. It was like some high school fucking footage on Vine. Damn. And then. He had his career at Louisville. Here he is balling in the NFL. I mean, he's not the best thrower. After that little intermission, and I'm sorry for no fucking video again, people, for the third video in a row. I am really sorry about that again. But, you know, at the same time, y'all motherfuckers probably don't even sit here and watch the goddamn thing. So, <laughs> like, honestly. And for the people that do sit here and watch it through and through... Thank you. <laughs> For real. Like, honestly. Most of the people that I ask, I'm like, hey, did you watch the podcast? They're like, well, you know, I watched like, the first like, little, like half of it. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I feel you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, just play it in the background for fuck's sakes, dude. Like, I fucking, I put on my story and shit and really didn't get no no feedback or nothing, but I'll keep pushing it and keep pushing it. Down. I know, that's why I, I keep pushing it, it. I mean, I like how I get likes on like random shit. Like I get, I got 30 something likes on my motherfucking cornrow picture. Hey. But then I, but then I fucking, then I put out a hey, podcast night and three motherfuckers like it. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You gotta start somewhere, I guess. Fuck it. You People know. don't want to see us winning, bro. No. That's why I'm just trying to get more guests on here. Like, um. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna make it official. We're having Joey Nieves on very shortly. Yes, from uh, NGS for people that uh, are in the valley and know know of him and and you know and and his crew. We're having the very own Joey Nieves, dude. The very own goat on. I'm gonna make sure I drop a link down below of some of his music so you guys can check it out. So, but he'll be on the next podcast after this one, so you guys can you know get a get a guest on after that. I have a few more people in line. Justice has a few more people he's trying to get on. Yes, sir. You know, just trying to get more people out there. Yes, sir. We we miss our partner in crime, fucking Tyree. Dude, I know. Tyree, we love you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good. Hopefully your mom and family's doing good, brother. Stay healthy. If you still watch the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> damn. I'll know if he messages me. Like, hey, yo, I saw Thanks, man. But if he, if he doesn't message me, I'm like, yeah, damn. Pot Ty Tyree didn't fucking watch the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Tyree didn't watch this week. Someone screen records and sends him the clip. Yeah, bro, I watched it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, got, I got fucking tagged at a certain point, so that's why I went and watched that part. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, get, let's get into the... So now we know who we want to win in the Super Bowl. I don't know why I keep looking at the camera. That bitch is done. So now we know who we want to win in the Super Bowl. Bengals. Justice thinks the Rams. You know, everyone has their own opinion. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the halftime show. Boom. The lineup 
is. When did they update Safari? <laughs> this shit's whack as fuck. Why is the goddamn search bar on the bottom? So yeah, so I know it's Dr. Dre, you know, little little Uzi Vert, um, two chains. Uh-uh, <laughs> No, uh, little Uzi. <laughs> no, <laughs> Uzi's not there. It's a Damn, bird. you bastard. <laughs> there are five performers set to take the stage at halftime of Super Bowl 50 something. <laughs> <laughs> Can't read fucking numbers like that. Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick, and Mary J. Blige. That's who it is. Mary J. Blige, bro. She's a freaking goat. You're not ready. You're not ready, you dude. They keep coming out and saying, I might put out a video, an article in here so you guys can watch it, but bro, they're talking about how this is supposed to be the best, best fucking show in the whole halftime, like, history. Yeah, like they said, you like this is going to be the, the record books. That's, like, the best one. They say that every fucking year, but, like... Dude, the Katy Perry one, that shit went hard. That shit went hard. The Beyonce one went, went hard. Yeah, it did. But, dude, like... I know, I'm looking at that cover, dude. Did you see the fucking commercial of it where it was, like... Dr. Dre was walking on the beach, dude, and, like, there's a piano, like, in the end, the water going, dun, 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 uh-uh. dun. Yeah, dude, it was fire. Like, it went down to, like, because it was showing everybody's, like, you know, shit, and it went to, like, Kendrick fucking just sitting there, like, writing and shit, and, like, papers just flying behind him, and then it went to Dr. Dre, and he's just walking along the beach, and then there's, like, a fucking piano, like, in the water, and it's going, dun, 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 Oh, dude, and it's, like, fucking halftime show, and I'm like, oh, dude, they're making this shit look like a movie. Who do you think's gonna go the most hard? Shit, dude. I think fucking Snoop Dogg is gonna fucking get that I think, shit. I think I think Snoop Dogg bro. and Kendrick are gonna go vibe off each other. Hell, have you dude. heard that new like the new uh, Snoop and Dr. Dre off the GTA? Mm, off GTA Five? I mean, probably. It's fucking good, bro. He they did like a DLC kind of like a it's just like an update, and they they added Dr. Dre in the game. And you did missions, and while you're doing those missions and stuff, it played, like, unreleased Dr. Dre and shit. That's so fucking fire. Now it's released after yeah. the th- update or whatever, but it's still fucking sick that for a minute, you, it was only, like, a GTA exclusive. It's like he look, he made a soundtrack for GTA. Yeah, it's, it's like a GTA 5 soundtrack. That's cool. Yep. That's hella cool. Dude, I think, I, mm, I'm a big Kendrick fan. Kendrick's a goat, and I think Kend- Kendrick's gonna go hard. I know. People haven't seen a lot of Kendrick in a while. So yeah, like and I feel like a, a lot of the oldies, this is going to be really good for Kendrick, because a lot of oldies, have you noticed that? Like, like a lot of old people that aren't really in the music industry anymore. And then you got Kendrick. I think this is going to get Kendrick hell of fucking publicity, and like hell of fucking clout. Like he already has a lot of fucking fans, but all these older people that are trying to find a rapper that's kind of like, you know, their old rappers that they like, they're going to fucking be like, oh, sh- who is this little motherfucking nappy-haired motherfucker? Like Facts. out here fucking spitting damn fucking shit. Yeah, for real. I really hope that they have a silhouette or like something of Tupac. Oh, because like they've done that, like where it's like a 3D imaging from like an old concert, and they put it in to like real. If that life. happens, dude, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. People are gonna, oh, I'm gonna ball. Like I'm gonna be like, oh my fucking god, they did it because they've done it. Like I've seen it. Like there was a Tupac Shakur like little mini tour, hologram. yeah, where he like went. Like, it was like a hologram tour, and it was just like old, old concert that they like rendered up and made him sound like you know better because it was old and then fucking just projected on stage and it really looked like real life him just fucking up there and people were like in the crowd crying and shit i'm like dude imagine if all of a sudden they fucking are like playing california love like you just hear california love come on and then they fucking like and then like tupac just fucking like oh my god oh, that, would be insane. that would be insane as shit that's what i hope happens because i keep seeing him in the in the commercials like they keep you know showing tupac in the commercials and i'm like why would they be? Sh- why would they be like low key, like you know, showing Tupac in the halftime commercial? Yeah, dude, that's what I'm thinking. I really hope, dude. People in the comments, comment what you guys think down below, and who who you guys think is gonna go the most fucking hard at the concert. Who you guys want to root for the Super Bowl? You know, if y'all think Tupac's gonna make a fucking hologramic appearance in this bitch. Oh my goodness, that would be nuts, dude. That would be like that. Would, that's what I'm talking about. Like they keep saying, and like Dr. Dre was saying in an interview that when he was like, because they've like you know rehearsed it and you know like Corey off he said the first two takes he already like was like getting chills from like watching their like playbacks from like how like good it's gonna be and I'm Dang. like damn I'm like Dr. Dre you better not be fucking just clapping fucking you know dude I think Brandon's on to something I think fucking maybe Pac <laughs> dude 
That would be, oh, dude, be best nuts. Super Bowl ever. For real. Ever. Number one. Not only fucking is this Super Bowl shit going on with Snoop, he just fucking acquired Death Row Records. Ooh. Yeah. The young, well, once young, uh, Death Row record, you know, rapper is now the Death Row fucking owner and mogul, dude. Like, Yep. It's insane. Didn't you say he was kind of like, kind of still like, you know, pulling the strings behind it while what's his name was locked up after he ran over that motherfucker? Yeah, after Shook Knight got locked up, it was a lot of Snoop Dogg fucking behind the scenes. And shit. Snoop Dogg's probably like, fucking finally, get this motherfucker out of here. Let me, let, me, let, let me do what we should be doing in this bitch, dude. For real. That's so awesome, though. Have you seen all the documentaries about like how Death Row used to be? Yeah. Shit's wild. Straight gang. Dude, straight up gang. That's what I want for Third Eye Shark, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want some motherfuckers to be like, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, fucking Snoop said, I am thrilled and appreciative of the opportunity to acquire the iconic and cur- Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you. Significant Death Row Records brand, which has immense untapped future value. No oh, shit. So I feel like he's going to actually like start signing people to Death Row again and stuff, which will be cool to see some new Death Row artist. Because mm. Death Row Records was founded by Dr. Dre, Suge Knight, The Doc, and Dick Griffey or whatever. I'm probably butchering that name. I think, I it think, uh, yeah. The performance artist, with, including Tupac and shit, is like when they finally found fame. You know? Yeah. But... God, dude, we can go down a whole rabbit hole of Death Row Records. Like, that shit is so wild. Like, man, dude, uh, my boy Tupac, man, that whole shit. Like, if that man were just left when he could have, you know, when he had the chance, you know, you should have just paid Suge Knight the fucking money, bro. Just left. You know, when when, when Suge Knight was like, you owe me money, and then he's like, I, right, I'm going to stay. I'm like, fuck that. Give him the money. Peace out, you know? Make your own la- label. Imagine if Tupac was still alive to this day and had his own label. It's crazy. Shug's locked up for some different shit. But I really feel like it was a Shug Knight hit. That that did. That killed Pac. Dude, yeah, low-key. And then he had himself in the car so nobody would, like, suspect him as a, you know, like, why would he, like, almost get, like, why would he get shot, you know? Like, risk himself getting shot, yeah. you know? It's almost like the Melly situation. I definitely think that and the police were involved. That's why, like, there was no, like, real police investigation. They didn't really, like, give a fuck. They were like, oh, we can't find the people that shot him. So, you know. When I was, like, 12 and shit, I was, like, hell-bent on Tupac still alive. <laughs> Dude, I, I every- like, swore to God. I'm like, bro, he's still alive. He's in Cuba. That's what really? everybody fucking says. He's in Cuba. Well, I watched Castro. so many videos, dude, and it was, like, tattoos and shit don't match. And, you know, where the bullets entered the car when it matched where his wounds were, shit like that. Dude, I know. There are so many documentaries about it. It's and really the, interesting. And you've noticed every fucking documentary is different. Yeah. They all, like, show different things and tell you different things. And sometimes you're like, is this shit actually real? What is real? What is not? Yeah. I, did different you watch interviews. the movie All Eyes on Me? Yeah. Was it good? I haven't seen it. It was pretty good. They, like, you know, tried they, they tried to explain more of his real, like, his start of his life. They just, like, kind of fast forward through it as fuck. They just kind of were like, yep, his mom's a crackhead. And then they, like, boom, L.A., <laughs> yeah, like, mom's a crackhead. Boom, I like. Yeah, like, I can't remember how it starts. But was it no straight out of Compton shit? No, definitely. no. Like, I mean, he definitely went to LA. You know, like you know, went to high school and fucking not high school. I don't know if it was high school or not. I can't remember the full story. But like, he was in New York City, and um, his mom was you know kind of a crackhead. Like literally, like it shows in the movie her like buying drugs and then going to, like suck the guy's dicks for like the drugs and shit like that. So in she was movie? a crack. Yeah, like, she didn't, it didn't show her suck a dick, but it showed her like going around the corner with him. Like, oh my god. So like hinting at it, and he's just like, my mom's a fucking crack whore. Like yada oh, yada. No. And he would like threaten to beat the fuck out of the the dealers all the time and shit if they keep selling to his mom and stuff. And she was like, fuck you, I fuck you, I need my shit. But they moved to L. A. And then that's when then he started getting into, you know, writing and shit. And I can't remember exactly how he met up with fucking. You know, Snoop and Dre and all them fucking people, but... Oh, no, I think it was Suge. It was Suge that fucking found him. That's so nuts. No, Suge found him after he got put in jail, after he got prison, after that girl said that he uh, raped her. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how Suge found her. But somehow before that, he got mixed up with all them people, you know, started getting his thing, you know, fucking got shot and shit. Fucking... Damn. Yeah. It shows all the behind the scenes, but, like, I've seen so many different things about it, about, like... I know more about his death his movies, than his actual yeah. life. He's a, he's a really good actor, too. I've never seen one of his movies. 
You should watch Juice. Juice, I know. I heard Juice is one of the a really good movie. Yeah. Like it's just old fucking like this is old. There's not really like really a big plot. It's in like it. some homies like like us, you know, fucking. One of them gets a big head and starts toting guns and shit and fucking. Yeah, I remember that. I think I remember my mom and dad owning that movie back in the day, and I like remember like looking at the cover. I'm like, this shit looks wild. Yeah, and now I'm looking at it as an adult. I'm like, this shit's just looking like just a, 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 a normal fucking day, dude. Really? <laughs> but again, to wrap up the Super Bowl talk and Tupac talk. Tupac, I really hope you make an appearance at the Super Bowl because, oh my god, dude, that would be a dream come true. Literally, that would be insane. He's never had a Super Bowl. Yep. Mm-hmm. I could be fucking wrong. Like I don't know. Like if back in the night. Oh no, probably back in no. Back in the eighties and late eighties, nineties, they didn't. They didn't like fucking Tupac. You know when did they start doing Super Bowl halftime shows? Has it always been a thing? Has it always been this big thing? I don't. I don't know. But I know. I know somewhere along the line there was like a a commercial that like showed when the. Has it was, Michael Jackson been in the Super Bowl? Yeah. Or like Whitney Houston? It was established by Pepsi. Like, it was, because that's why it's always been the Pepsi halftime show. And, like, uh-huh. Pepsi did a commercial where they, like, showed, like, when they established the halftime show. But I can't remember when. Because I remember it literally just what used to be, like, just a halftime show where just go back to the studio. And they're like, oh, thank you, guys. Now, the first half has been really fucking good. You know, like, <laughs> them guys are just throwing that goddamn pigskin around like no fucking other. Some Bob Menry shit. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's sitting there like, just, you yeah, know, let's get back to the fucking game. And now everyone's, like, waiting for the halftime. I'm sure, like, literally, they're so, like, this game's boring. Let's fucking, no. yeah. Some people don't even give a fuck about the game, yeah, yeah. for real. That's literally, I watch the first half and the shit's a blowout. I watch the halftime show and then I'm done. If it, if the shit's a blowout, halftime is the last thing I watch, dude. Like, the last few Super Bowls I have not watched because they have not been good, like, they've always been blowouts. Like, yeah, dude, no, the last Super Bowl that I remember actually fucking watching that was like. That I actually watched through and through was like when the Seahawks played the Patriots back in like 2014. Damn. Yeah. Twenty. I mean, okay, Peyton Manning and because it's Peyton Manning the year after. Yeah. And then the year after that, I got 2015, dude. I was screaming like a little girl. Oh yeah. Okay, I guess the last one I watched was Broncos versus Cam Cam Newton. I was yeah. so excited because Cam was fucking shitting on everybody all season. Dude, I know Cam was going ape shit, dude. and then, and then Vaughn you fucking, fucking fucked him up. Yeah, Vaughn. Bond's One of the daddy. biggest flops. Almost as big as a flop when the Falcons lost in the Super Bowl. Fucking <laughs> two, two years after that, where they were just destroying everybody, and then they get clapped. Bonk. I knew that was going to happen, dude. I was like, why the fuck are the Falcons in the Super Bowl? Dude, I was like, no way. I when know. It, when like, it was getting closer and closer, I'm like, they're going to score, and then, like, no. I'm like, and then they didn't right. score once in the second half. I was like... Man, yeah, I'm like, where the fuck's, where the fuck's Devontae Freeman's bitch ass? Like, you know, he's been fucking, he's been Julio Jones, fucking, damn, the biggest choke of all time. Matt Ryan, terrible. Do I know Matty Ice? Yeah, because the motherfucker's cold. How that? How does he even? How do you stay the starting quarterback when you're mediocre for that fucking long? I don't know how they've never even tried to like. They really they need to get to the point where like this draft, they need to fucking draft a quarterback. Man, yeah, Matt Ryan's poopy. Poop rat, Matt, Matt Ryan. There literally. we go. There's he's the fucking only pocket passer left. True. Philip Rivers is gone, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's Matt Ryan, dude. Yeah, Philip Rivers is gone. Joe Flacco is gone. If there was like a there was that era of just pocket passers, like yeah, and then it switched now to just scramblers, bro. Like, fucking. Um, like every goddamn rookie that you see, or t- second or third year quarterback, is all scramblers. Yep. You know. And if they're they're not like not all of them are crazy Lamar Jackson scramblers. Yeah. Not all of them are Patty Mahomes. But none of them had to throw on the run. Fucking but Josh get out. Allen and Justin Herbert. There's some big dudes mm-hmm. who, can, who are actually pretty fast for their size. Yeah, dude. And fucking like, hmm. I guess Kirk Cousins isn't really a pocket passer. He's a, just a strong arm thrower. Like, he can throw it down there, but he can't fucking throw tight and fucking balls for shit, dude. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. He is not a needle threader at all. Damn. I hate I hate to hate on the man, but fuck, dude. I've watched every goddamn game this year, and that's what happens. The man just fucking tries to sling it down the field instead of just trying to, like, get little quick plays to get down the field. He's like, fuck it, suck it in one, let me throw a fucking play action Hail Mary and fucking pick it. It's like, you're so goddamn stupid. I understand that it's like, maybe that's like the coach, the, the coach's call. Yeah. But fuck that audible. Yeah, for real, what the fuck? <laughs> That's why there's square on the fucking pad, bro. For squared X, dude. I got tired of watching fucking Denver for a long time because their sh- their drives were so predictable, bro. It's like sitting at home watching their 
a drive, I could predict what they're going to do. I'd be like, all right, this is a run. It'd be a run. And I'm like, oh, they're going to pass now because it's fucking third and six, you know? Like, that was like me watching Ezekiel Elliott with the Cowboys. Yeah. You know the first two years they had Ezekiel, you're like, oh, they're running every goddamn play. Literally. Yep, exactly. every goddamn play up the middle. Yep, every goddamn play up the middle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, geez. Well, like, what sucked about us is we weren't fucking, we didn't have no Ezekiel Elliott, so we weren't fucking getting any yards either. So we'd get, like, fucking two yeah, yards had, of like, carry. like, fucking, like, Melvin Gordon, who, like, had one good season. God. You know? <laughs> He's fucking overrated as hell. Jamal Williams. One good season. He had fucking, um, oh, dude, who was that other motherfucker, dude, that you guys had a good running back and then you guys traded him? Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay, yep. I loved Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay was a dog, dude. Like, went ape shit. And we traded him to the fucking Texans for nothing. Yeah, I know. Texas don't even fucking, I mean, they use him. I got so tired of Denver because they fucking traded all the way, like, they traded all their Hall of Fame players away for fucking third and Rebuild, second round dude. draft picks. Rebuild. You didn't get a seat. You're telling me we didn't get a number fucking a first round draft pick for Vaughn Miller. He's straight elite, like one of the best pass rushers in the whole league. And you get a fucking third round pick and a fucking nobody linebacker. That's Are what's you happening. Kidding me? That's what's happening with the Packers, dude. Have you noticed that team? They got Devontae not Devontae Adam, yeah, De- Devontae Adams. I mean, once if Aaron leaves, who's that team got? They got Aaron fucking Jones, who is so overrated, it is ridiculous as fuck, dude. I'm so tired of everybody being like, Aaron Jones is one of the best goddamn running backs in the league. I'm like, no, he's not. That man is hurt half the fucking time, for one. Wasn't and two, he a receiver first? Yes. I knew that, yeah. I think so. Yeah, that, yeah, no, yeah. I might think about Ty, Ty Montgomery. No, oh, yeah, Ty Montgomery. What happened to him? Second string quarterback, for, or second string running back for the Bears. Damn. Oh, no, he is the running back for the Bears, actually. Damn. It's Ty Montgomery or somebody else. But yeah, it's just, he's just, you know, it's just not good. And you guys are really good. Like when you went to the, the Super Bowl and you beat the who? The Steelers. The Vikings? No, sorry. I thought you were a Green Bay fan. For no, sure. again. But Green Bay was really good when they fucking no. beat the Steelers that one year. Mm-hmm. Was it the Steelers they beat in the Super Bowl? Like when Aaron, like the last time they won a Super Bowl? Yeah. yeah. They looked really like good. 2010. That, and it really wasn't Aaron that was so good when they won that year. It was that fucking defense with Clay Matthews. And, dude, yeah. It was that all-star defense. Like Julius yeah. Peppers, dude. Fucking like they had. Ugh. Back when, what's his name? Clay Matthews could hit a motherfucker, dude. That's that. That's when his, like, his, like, you know, his spread. That's yeah. like when he got his signature, bro. Was when he was just going ape shit, dude. For real. And then after a couple years after that, they're like, oh, wait a minute. Clay Matthews is putting his shoulder into the quarterback when he puts him on the ground. Oh my God! Nope, 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 nope. Roughing the passer. Nope, you can't, you know, lay a motherfucker out anymore. Yeah, it's stupid as fuck. Did you watch the Pro Bowl? No. It was embarrassing. It it was it was, it gets worse and worse every year. It's like you can. Dude, it was like two hand touch. No, yeah, it's two hand touch, but fuckers keep running. You know what I mean? Like fuckers will still get touched, but then they keep running, and then some people are like looking around, like what the fuck's going on, and then they run for a touchdown. Or like I literally saw one. Kirk Cousins <laughs> threw a pick. And it was just so bad, so overthrown, fucking 80-yard pass. This man's just slinging it. And you're like, and then boom, fucking 5, 10 yards off the goddamn mark, right into the, the, the defense's hands. And then everybody on, like, the offense just stops, like, moving, and this man just runs through all of them, fucking boo boo and they're all, like, trying to, like, reach out and, like, grab him, and he just, yeah, ooh, it, and then it goes for so, a touchdown. And I'm like... It was a really weird defensive game. There were so many picks and And shit. everybody in Ho- Hawaii is like, yay! Like, yay! I'm like, no, this is not real football you're watching. Fucking stop. Literally. The best part of that I saw was a TikTok where it showed fucking Mac Jones doing the ditty. Yeah. He's like, hey, and then it showed Justin Jefferson like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's my shit. <laughs> Stop. So fucking, like, that's what, that's what I was talking about. Like fucking Mac Jones, he like runs out of the pocket, right? He fucking breaks through. He breaks through two tackles, but they call it dead because it's a Pro Bowl and they can't really fucking tackle anybody. And he just keeps running, dude. It would have been like a fucking crazy long run if it would have counted, you know. Mac Jones was popping off in the Pro Bowl. He had like two or three touchdowns. I know Mac, Mac. Mac's probably out there like I'm just gonna like showcase my talent. I ain't here, I ain't here to like fuck around. Well, he was. I, he really was. I like the Pro Bowl games. You ever watch that shit where it's like the fucking quarterback oh, is putting yeah. in the bowl and like you know the wide that shit gets fucking intense too because people compete. You know they're actually like competing against each other like right next to each other. The only thing that was really cool to watch was uh, Stefan Diggs 
and uh, Trayvon, or am I, am I saying it right? Yes, that's Stefan Trayvon Diggs. Yeah, they're yeah. brothers. Yeah, Stefan and Trayvon going at it. They like one on one drive. Fucking Stefan was a receiver. Yeah, and then the, another drive. Fucking Trayvon was a receiver, and Stefan was a corner. Oh shit! And Stefan was just fucking him up all game. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he was like, "That's my baby brother. I changed his diapers." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Stephon Diggs, man, I'm so sad that the Vikings lost him. That man was a fucking animal, dude. They they gave him a direct snap, like he was at that QB, and he got the ball, and he juked out Jefferson, or not Jefferson, he juked out fucking his brother. Oh. His brother fucking was all butt hurt, dude. Dude, yeah, he's probably just doing it on purpose. He's like, he's like, he's, he's like, it's your first Pro Bowl. I'm gonna fuck you up. Literally, <laughs> he's like, you're here with the big boys now. For real, yeah, playing two hand touch, dude. I know what play like changed his life. I I already really liked uh, Stefan Diggs, but that fucking playoff game. Dude, was, I knew you were talking about that where he fucking just like did like that quick slant that walk and then off. just Foo, and then yeah, took off his fucking helmet and threw it and then he walked in the locker room, dude. Yeah, yeah. and every, and fucking that was when Case Keenum was doing the sc- the skull <laughs> the skull clap, dude, and everybody was fucking just going off, dude. I was all. Oh, so Case can fucking make it to the playoffs for you guys, but when he plays for us, he's fucking dog water. <laughs> Fucking, he plays for fucking Denver and he can't fucking throw to save his life. But then he fucking throws goddamn hail marys and shit for you guys. Fuck you, dude. I, oh my god, I was like, that was. I kind of wish we kept Case Keenum because that's when we then we got fucking. I can't remember who that was right after. Oh god, he's cancer. If anybody can put, like, I'm sorry, but I need. Oh god, Bridgewater? No, 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 no. dude, he's fucking. Mm. I can't remember his name, but he's the quarterback that was right after Case Keatum, right before um, fucking, you know, Kirk Cousins and shit. Can't remember his name. He's been on the Rams. He's been on, like, fucking eight different Foles? goddamn teams. No, not Foles. Oh, I can't remember his Big name. Nick. No, you should look it up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck with me. You should just look it up, like, just Vikings quarterbacks. And then oh, he fuck. might be a coach now. So the guy who's going, trying to be a coach. No, dude. This guy. Josh McCown. No, dude. You'll you'll know who it is once you fucking see it. He's a goddamn. Oh, for the people that once the once you know who I'm talking about. Oh God, this man is cancer when he comes on teams like that year. We were so fucking bad. It was ridiculous. Going from being in the conference championship to fucking. Oh my. God. You know who I'm talking about? Bradford? Fucking Sam Bradford, no, dude. No. Cancer. Cancer. He's ass. Any fucking team that man goes on, Sam Bradford, I fucking Bro, you hate guys you. Have had so many. Dude, I know. In the last, like, we've had, ever since Bridgewater fucking tore his ACL, you know, stepped in a goddamn hole. Oh, rest in peace. You guys had Joe Webb, Randall Cunningham before. Fucking Warren Moon, Donovan McNabb. Brett Favre, you guys have had some stuff. Brett, Brett, yeah, dude. And then Bridgewater, dude, was was gonna be like our next dynasty man. And then that man fucking stepped in a hole. And then after that, for four like four years, we were just in a desert. And then now they're like, oh, fucking dude, the Vikings, Kirk Cousins. Dude, imagine the Vikings Ravens Super Bowl. How cool would that look? That'd be fire. Purple, purple and gold, fucking black and gold. Purple. Oh, dude, that feel. Just two purples next. The purple battle. Or oh something. yeah, dude. You know, you know the Ravens would be like black, and the fucking, you know, the Vikings be purple. We are going to finish it out because we told our Super Bowl predictions. You know, talked a little about football. So I hope you know all of your football fanatics. You guys fuck with this with this episode because we haven't really got to deep dive much into. We pr- I probably sound like an idiot talking about fucking football, but. Uh, yeah, I'm same. trying. <laughs> same here. It was like yeah, same. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so. I'm going to put a video real fast for y'all to look up to, you know, check out before we talk about it. Um, but, yeah, the New York New York mayor um, that was just appointed into office, um, there's been two homicides, I believe. I think it was a couple days ago, yesterday. But this morning, seven hours ago, on February 11th, the New York mayor came out and said that drill rap is what is causing deaths. <laughs> drill rap is what is causing violence and mayhem in, in, in his city and he is linking because the two affiliates that were part of the death like you know the two people that are dead are rappers that make drill type music 
And then you just kind of just affiliate in that if they wouldn't be involved in drill type music and the guns and violence that are associated with that type of music, they would not be dead. So I'm going to drop that video real fast so you guys check out out and then we're going to talk about it real fast. Be right back. On social media companies to ban rap videos that glorify and promote violence and shooting. The so-called drill rappers, his urgent plea, comes after two aspiring drill rappers were shot and killed within days of each other. The so-called drill music actually raps about local murders. Senior correspondent Laura Engel has more on all of this. Laura, to you. Hi, Molly. You know, New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he's going to go right to the social media companies that continue to publish both violent videos and this drill rap video that we've been seeing. And he's going to ask these companies to take the entire genre off of the platform and he doesn't want to see them published anymore. Uh, You mentioned some of those current cases. Yesterday, the mayor used the case of 18-year-old Jaquan McKinley as an example after the drill rapping teen was shot and killed last weekend he was leaving a recording studio in Brooklyn. And McKinley was murdered less than a month after a 22-year-old rapper was shot and killed in the same borough hours after signing a record deal. The New York City mayor says that drill rapping videos on Friday is something that he wants to address. And as you mentioned, drill rapping is a specific form of rap that tends to have dark and extremely violent themes, some showcasing semi-automatic weapons. Adams announced plans to try and meet with social media companies to ask them to remove these types of videos off their platform. Platforms. I had no idea what drill rapping was, but I called my son and he sent me some videos and it is alarming. And we are going to pull together the social media companies and sit down with them and state that you have a civic and corporate responsibility. And this, as the city reports, shootings are up 30% from the same time last year and an increase in total crime up 42%. On Thursday, the city saw at least seven shootings in one day, including a sanitation worker who was shot in Midtown Manhattan. This is not normal, no. I live here like seven years and it's sad to see that this this happened in the daytime. You know, it's very sad. As kids go to school, it's around school time, you know. Kids could have got hit. And we just checked in with the NYPD, who confirms that there were three shootings yesterday in New York City. And earlier this morning, there was a slashing at the very busy Union Station subway stop. And that suspect is still on the loose. We continue to monitor all of it. Molly? Yeah, and that crime being followed all across the nation now. Laura Ingle, thank you very much. All right, so now that y'all watch that shit, for one, fuck his son. His son ratted people out. He was like, yeah, my son fucking sent me video. Man, fuck your son, man. You also, like, (laughs) your son didn't have to do shit. But anyways, your son's like, hey, yo, these guys rap. I think it's stupid that they're just now like, oh, because it's our city. We're going to, this has been going on for a minute. Why are you just now? Why now? You know what I mean? Yeah, like. It's stupid. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but, like, the whole thing that, like, He's, he's coming after, like, Spotify and shit like that. Why is everyone coming after Spotify? But he's coming after Spotify. He's like, these people have a civil duty as workers for these social media companies and internet companies to not put out this, like, explicit music and this hateful music that's about the death and life of destruction. And I'm just like, bro, what are you, like, on, man? No, I just knew he was full of fucking shit because he's like, I didn't even know what drill rap was. Until yeah, no, he's son. until my son sent Bull me videos. Shit. You're telling me you ain't heard a fucking drill song on the radio? You've never heard it, especially in New York City with Sirius XM radio. Come on, yeah. come on, buddy. Yeah, like you know that you're the, lying. You know the mayor ain't taking the cab, just listening to normal radio. That man's you know in his goddamn fucking Lincoln Continental fucking with eighteen fucking doors in that bitch listening to shit. You know. Probably listening to like fucking some old ass like boom bop rap. Probably missing listening to Neil Young. That's, that's low key talking about the same shit, just in a different lingo and shit. Because it was back then. I guarantee. Come on, this mayor acts like he's never listened to a song back in the day. If you grew and, up in New York, you listened to Wu Tang Clan, bro. Like the, you had the to. The reason the YouTube, Snapchat, all these all these social medias, all these platforms. It's 2022. They. They're working with the feds, bro. It's been, it's, it's proven. They like. It's also been proven that China literally tracks you on TikTok. Yeah, nobody like, gives the, a fuck. The feds like, 
they you they're just like hell yeah fucking tell on yourself like they're gonna keep letting these people fucking be dumb and tell on themselves and shit and like like for those of you that are watching that has ever got their snapchat removed dude dude the feds made a deal with snapchat they your, save every terms, single picture. Your terms of service, they no longer are a thing. Your your privacy and shit, no longer a thing. They can use mm-hmm. anything in your memories, anything that you've ever sent against you. Bro, yeah, if you've actually, like, ever read a terms and services, like, agreement, that shit is wild. Like, mm-hmm. no, no wonder they make it fucking 86 pages long, and then you can just scroll through it in one click, you know? Yep. I've never, I mean, I'll be honest, I've never once ever 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 fucking like read one but i've watched videos where people like go through like iphone shit where it's like nothing on here is private everything on here goes to the cloud which is everybody's cloud which is owned by iphone which is owned by the government and yep. i'm like oh fucking shit like so you're, straight, you're <laughs> straight basically just fucking incriminating yourself yeah. like anything like all the drug deals people do on their phones all this shit like that's why you don't get in trouble because they ain't really worried about that shit you know until you're like fucking talk about like terrorist shit or like you know random ass shit that they actually care about yep until so you're going kanye crazy yeah okay. <laughs> dude <laughs> that's why people like that's why they always random ass stories get found you know it's like you know we, we hear about all these random ass stories like this kid random kid fucking plotted to kill, go against the school it's like how do they hear about all these school shootings you know really like you know, like months in advance, you know, they have all these like evidence, you know, because it's, it's all saved in the fucking cloud. They have all this evidence on the fucking computers and social media and all this shit because it's saved, bro. They yeah. can just go in and be like, do, 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 do. Oh. If, they, if they boycotted, if they somehow canceled fucking uh, drill rap, then it'd be a lot harder to, to convict a lot of these guys. So I don't think the cop, I think I, I get what he's trying to do, like make a city safer and shit. But it's gonna. Can't, it's don't gonna worry about music. You, it's gonna bite you in the butt. Don't because, worry about music. Yeah, because <laughs> you know? like, honestly, them putting that shit up is helping the feds bring justice to the shitty people that you know. Dude, to like, the fucking Quando Rondos and shit. Bro, but Quando Rondo, R.I.P. King Bond. And fucking like Bobby Schmurder and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. Okay, all I'm saying is, bro, you have. I don't even know what the homeless population is in New York City. Let alone one borough, like Coney Island alone. But man, you have people dying in your motherfucking streets every goddamn day from the cold and just being in the streets and dying. But you ain't worry about that. Yeah, that's... You're like, we need to cancel fucking Spotify's... That's how I feel about some other stuff. I'm not gonna even say the word. That's how I feel about some other stuff. And you guys probably know what I mean when I say stuff. You know, when we have to put shit on our face and all that. Well... Bro, there's literally people dying of fucking heart disease, diabetes, fucking... People aren't getting Depression, their, um, fucking suicide and shit, and you're worried about a goddamn bullshit. Yeah, like, let's cancel drill rap. You can't go in the store unless you have a mask. It's stupid as fuck. Let's worry about real shit, not this fucking... It's all just like, no, let's worry about this fake shit so we can sweep the real shit under the rug. You know, dude, I guarantee I you, if it. I was a homeless person, and I saw fucking like a news, like if I walk by like a news, like you know how like you walk down Times Square, like all those goddamn screens. If I'm a homeless person down there and I look up and they're like reporting, we need to stop drill rap in New York. I'd be like, fuck you, I'm homeless. Fix your goddamn homeless fucking crisis. Fix all this crime shit. Like, what do you mean drill rap? I'd be like, if I was a homeless person, drill rap keeps me asleep. Like, make, make me vibe <laughs> out. Fuck you, dude. For real. Fix your roads. Fix your fucking police, bro. Fix all this shit. Fix fucking God, what's in our food nowadays. Like, fucking everything, bro. Bro, yeah. Make more soup kitchens. Shit. Like, there's so many, like, empty spots in New York that they could just build a soup kitchen or, like, build the shit. But they're like, nah, we gotta stop this motherfucker. It's there's fine. cities in the United States that don't have fucking water. And we're worried about drill rap. There's literally an anti rap message, like protest thing. I tried to click on the link, but it was a link. And there's like an anti rap message that is going from the elf through the police departments there. Like they're trying to do an anti rap campaign through New York City. It's not going to work. New York City is one of the biggest fucking New York, Like you can't stop music in Miami, LA, Seattle, Portland, fucking Atlanta, New York City. You can't. You can't. Chicago, you fucking can't. You're, you're- it's just you sound so. You and sound what law? Dumb. So when he, when he said, 
I've never heard a drill rap. What's that? Yeah, like, y'all play y'all, dumb. Y'all saw a video on that motherfucker. Literally, was the first fucking sentence. He's like, I don't know what drill rap is, but my son. <laughs> this is my own words now. Incriminating all his motherfuckers, sending me all this, all this evidence. Like, and he's like, it's just destruction. I just, everyone has an opinion, I guess. But I'm all about laws. What law? People dead. That's a law break. Rapping. That's not a breaking law, dude. That's like literally the freedom of speech. Express yourself. I feel like fucking our rights are slowly just getting taken from us. Dude, if people literally are starting to get... Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on this now. People start getting arrested in New York City because they're rapping or, like, just drill-type rapping or putting out right drill-type music videos and they're getting arrested. I'm going to go ape shit. Like, I I can't do anything. Obviously, I don't got fucking nothing to do. I'm just going to get pissed. Like, this is stupid as shit. <laughs> like, it is fucking retarded. Just like I said, you got people getting uh, murdered in your city. And you're going to focus on the rap part. Hmm. Maybe, like, how do these fucking people, like, get the guns and, like, you know, like, work, who are they affiliated with? But no, nah, let's fucking figure out when's the last time they put out an album. Stupid. <laughs> fucking dumb. But, dude, yeah. New mayor of New York City. Cause, um, Piece of shit. Yeah. Like, Dog water ass motherfucker. Yeah, you're not starting out good, buddy. You know, your first thing, you're already kind of. And then your buddy, buddy with Joe Biden. Fucking Joe Biden chose to pass a law in your city fucking saying if you don't have a vaccine that he's going to put you in a fucking camp. Have you seen that video where people fucking are getting like arrested in like bird cans and shit from not being vaccinated? Like that's fucking insane. Yeah, like dead ass. Like it's a, it's ridiculous. But let's, wor- let's worry about this drill rap. Let's, yeah, let's worry. Remember that song, I'm a bill? The motherfucker literally says I'm not a law. Until I go through all these judiciary systems, he's like, I'm just a bill. The motherfuckers never made a bill about the COVID vaccine, you know, and all this other shit. They were just like, oh, it's a mandate. It's like, fuck you. It's not a law. I'm like, where's, show me the goddamn law that says, you know, you can't fucking do this without being vaccinated. And if there's a law, then that's unconstitutional. Facts, dude. And facts is fuck. And y'all can fucking, and you know what? I hope I get a fucking disclaimer that's like, misinformation, because then that means that YouTube's looking at my shit. <laughs> <All right>? <laughs> <laughs> like, YouTube's facts. like, oh, fuck, this man's spreading misinformation. It's it's fucked up because, like, you know, people have died from it and shit, but it, it it's another scapegoat. Yeah. It's just a big scapegoat. That's why I, I definitely believe there's a virus, you know, but I don't believe that we need to look in walk down fucking buy a toilet paper and fucking never fucking leave your house and like dude if anything that's gonna weaken your immune system more by wearing a mask over your fucking face and never getting exposed to any dirt or any scum and then the 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 day that you can take off your mask you're gonna be fucking dead to me the mask makes it worse because you're touching shit all day you're touching surfaces all day right and then the mask is itchy on your face bro and then oh. and or you're like you have to pull it down for some reason you're not th- you're not gonna go wash your hands before you touch your mask. I haven't seen a single person go. Oh, I have to go wash my hands before I touch my mask. And y'all are lying if y'all say you fucking change your mask every goddamn like ten minutes or every no, hour. Like no. y'all are lying, dude. People, I see them. You wear that same dirty ass mask all day, and you're touching it after you touch fucking whatever yeah, else. Yeah, after you so touch you're your dick and fucking, fucking putting germs in your mouth by wearing that thing mm. all day. That in my opinion, that thing's just a germ catcher. Like, I've literally seen people, like, where it looks like it just catches germs. Like, it did look like black when I'm going to, like, fast food joints. And I'm like, why? Y'all need to change that fucking mask. Or actually, just don't wear the motherfucker. When I was in Seattle, it was wild. It was, like, everyone was like, you're going to fucking get told every second to wear a mask. No. Um... Cause they're, just when you just cause, when you went into businesses, huh? No, actually, businesses. Some some businesses didn't give a fuck. Some businesses just said that they had that shit posted on their door, so, so they stay open. They don't gotta give a fuck. Some like some literally, so, so, um, God, what is it? Corner store guy in this fucking suburb that was outside of Seattle. Where we go in there, and it was like two a.m. We walk in there trying to get a mask to like go to a fucking a uh, a bar, and. He was all like, bro, you guys don't even need a mask on that bitch. We're like, what? He was like, bro, like, they just have that shit posted outside so people don't get in trouble. And I'm like, well, I'm like, I didn't give a fuck, but I was like, so how do like, you just don't enforce it? They're like, the day that a cop comes by and is like, all right, give me the towel if people aren't wearing the mask, then I'll fucking care. He's like, but nobody's coming by and being like, you guys making sure people are back. So he's like, it's literally just if we give a fuck. And I was like, wow. So it was actually really chill in Seattle with like, compared to like, I mean, besides like the aquarium and like, attractions and shit like that you know like pike's place market but like random shit like that like the concert they didn't give a fuck federal buildings and, and yeah big franchises like and when stuff. we went up to the fucking ferris wheel 
they told us that we had to have our masks on the entire time that we're in there. I was like, you're fucking stupid. I'm like, I'm up here and fucking put it on me. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you're not going to fuck it. You can't touch me. That's illegal. You can't just be like grabbing me. Like, put your fucking mask on, motherfucker. It just, it shit fucking pissed me off, dude. I went to the fucking Highland Grocery when all this shit was going on. Like when it was right in the middle of it, when it was still kind of fresh. And they're like, they ring my shit up. Then they go, oh, you're not wearing a mask. We can't sell any of this to you. Sorry. I'm like, uh, like, what the fuck? Then, wow. like, then they go, then, but here's the catch. Then they go, oh, but if you buy one of our masks right now, I'll sell it to you. Fuck you, dude. I'm not buying your fucking stupid special ass mask so I can fucking get my groceries. I'll fucking go somewhere else. And like, what is the science behind that? They always say, look at the science. I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty fucking sure that the COVID doesn't just stop once you put a fucking mask on. Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. You already infected the whole store. So now what? You buying a mask and putting on for the two seconds to buy that shit is just going to like make every- everything okay? That shit doesn't make any fucking sense to me. It's like, sorry, but the guy behind you wearing a mask, I can't just let you slide. Dude, the shit that I can't stand is <laughs> Going to restaurants and they're like, you gotta wear your mask all the way to your table and then you're fine. What is the is there is there COVID barriers at every goddamn table? They're like, oh no, they're eating. We gotta wait for them to get up to the bathroom to get ass. No, dude. If anything, there's probably more germs because it's fucking food. Literally, germs grow. Like, what do you mean? So like, ah, dude, that shit irritates me. And they're like, well, you can't. And then like, when you get to the, to go to the bathroom, they're like, oh, you gotta put your fucking mask on. I'm like, you guys are fucking dumb. I think dude. I think COVID's definitely real and it's definitely you know. It's like the flu. I but, believe but it's, it. But it's like the flu, exactly. That like this is just opinions. We're not trying to spread any false information. Yes. It's just our opinion. YouTube, please don't ban me. Yeah. Okay. But we're opinions. My, Freedom of speech. My opinion on it is, bro. It's literally just. It's like a flu. Like someone can get pneumonia and recover in a week or two. You know, some yeah. people with not the best health they get pneumonia and they die. It's. You know, or like bronchitis Mm -hmm. or tuberculosis or whatever. It's just, it's like a flu. Bro, I've had COVID three times. Yeah, exactly. And like, it hurt. Don't get me wrong, I'm sick. Just like any other sickness, bro. But depending on your family history, your genetics. Your immune system, yeah. Your immune system. It's going to differ between every person. Everybody can't live their life in fear. Or nothing like it's just going to be a shit show if everyone's trying to make us scared. They're trying to make us all the same. People don't understand that like we're not all the same person. Like they're trying to say that this one vaccine is like even with the flu shot, people have reactions. You know, like that's probably not, not everyone's supposed to get a fucking flu shot. And now they're trying to say that there's no exceptions for this fucking vaccine. That every it's user friendly. It's like a one size fits all. Every person can fucking have it. It's there's no side effects never ever. Like that, it's ever. never ever 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 been like that, dude. And there's not one shot in the world that doesn't have one side effect or doesn't affect just one person. You know what I mean? Like we're not all the same fucking body. It's like they're trying to make everyone the same. Everyone has to wear a mask. Everybody has to have this card. Everybody has to be vaccinated. Everybody has to fucking do this. Everyone has to fucking do that. It's just like soon they're gonna tell us what we can and can't wear, what we can and can't listen to, and people are like, "Oh, you guys are fucking crazy." And I'm like, okay. They're already telling you what you can and can't put in your body. Literally, it's fucking crazy. And then this whole, <laughs> this really got me, dude. Because like, all right, I'm not going to say my opinion on the whole, you know, what Texas did when they uh, made it illegal to get an abortion. I'm not going to say my opinion on that. But I'm going to say my opinion because the government can do that. You know, and they say it's your body, your choice, and everything like that, which I totally agree with. But then they're like, well, then it comes to the vaccine. It's not, it's not your body. It's not your choice. I'm like, how the fuck can y'all, what, what? Doesn't make, yeah. it, doesn't make any fucking sense. Mostly, <laughs> mostly all those people that are like pushing us to get the vaccine, right? Get the vaccine. You're, you're a piece of shit because you don't, you're not vaccinated. It's social warfare. They go home and they smoke about fucking 12 fucking Marlboro Reds and they drink about fucking six beers a night. And then eat their and cheeseburger from they Effie's. The, yep, they eat their fucking Effie's cheeseburger fucking with 5,000 calories. And then they go down on, on their and they look, crusty wife. Yep, they, and they look at their fucking big old beer gut hanging over their fucking nasty ass. And that, and so they know they got poked and they're vaccinated. So they, they just want to feel like they feel better empowered. about themselves. I know, I see it at work. Like, I work at Walmart and fuck you, Walmart again. But... Everybody there is just fucking, I mean, if you, if people that are watching, I mean, what's up? Uh, I mean, you guys know who I am and I am not talking about. But some people there are just like, you can just tell if they have the vaccine. Then they are they just know that they're, that they're better than you. They just walk around like, I'm doing my part to society by getting this shot. And I'm wearing my mask so tight on my face that 
I'm fucking helping everybody. And you pulling your mask down for one little bit, mm, 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 honey, <laughs> you are destroying us. You're destroying this community. There's people that literally said that if they were the president there, like people, I'm not going to say names, but if people at Walmart literally have said, if I was president, people wouldn't have a choice. They would get the so vaccine or go up. to jail. And I'm like, so I'm like, that's up. so crazy. Some lady literally there said, and I don't, oh, she's just a subscriber, but fuck it. Some lady there literally said that if the fucking flag was on the ground, she would stomp on it because she hates America. And I'm like, dang. Yeah. And I'm like, you're crazy. And that's like one of the same girls that was like, hey, yo, if I was president, none of y'all would have the chance. Like she said, even like babies, everybody would get vaccinated because then nobody would ever get sick. And I'm like, that's not how it works. Dude. People that are still vaccinated get sick. Exactly. That's why. And then I, a new fucking variant comes out every goddamn month because of this fucking vaccine. Because fucking, you know what vaccines are? They have the fucking, they have the d- disease in there. They want your body mm-hmm. to fight it off, and fight it off, and be it. immune to it. But you're still putting it into somebody's body, dude. That's why I never got. I get, I get it, dude. I get the whole point of it. I'm not a scientist, but I get the point of like to fight it off. Like that, that that's like kind of like what, like what I'm saying. You don't really need a fucking vaccine for it. You get it, and then you fucking you know you fight it off. It's like either way, you're getting the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They just say it's more of a controlled version because it's you know the scientists made it, and it's just the right amount of COVID that won't kill you. It's like literally what they say about every goddamn shot. Like, they just put just the right amount of the disease that it won't kill you. It makes you just so strong. I knew this shit was so fucking weird when I seen articles and videos saying, uh, people in Wuhan saying, we did not create this in a lab. We did, this was a bat, you know? And then there's other shit, there's other shit of them saying, oh, we did create this in the lab. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, this is very far-fetched fucking... You could call me a fucking idiot if you think so. It's okay. But I had a conspiracy theory in my head for a minute that maybe China fucking was like, these motherfuckers, they use the shit out of us, bro. They need us, and they owe us so much money, and they're not paying up, and they're not giving us shit. Look at look at something you're wearing We're, or that you own. It's made by China. Yeah. The, so they're probably like, we're going to fucking make this goddamn weapon and they're never even gonna know that we didn't attack on them we're gonna fuck their whole economy and you know like i wouldn't look say at the economy good. look at what's happened since covid everything has been fucked and then china they got over covid well, quick. Have, have you seen our like our relationship china was over china? covid quick dude like nobody there wears shit they're all fucking good now dude and they're fucking kind of sus kind of very sus. sus oh i bu- i've literally thought about that too because like it's a whole money game like did you know how much shit we sent to China and China sent to us? Yada, yada, yada. Like, how many deals we had to make for China when all this went down? Like, we had to, like, move almost all of our production to China. Yada, yada, yada. Like, literally almost everything's getting made in China now. All the ports getting backed up. They're like, well, might as well bring them to China. Fucking, it's like, dude, all of the masks that we got from them, like, all the aid, all of those fucking stimulus packages that people just sit there and they're like, yay, free money. Like, yeah, free money, but those fucking things are bills. And the bills have so many subpar things that they do. They send shit to, like, goddamn Saudi Arabia. And they send fucking, like, food to fucking, like, Jamaica, which is, like, I mean, whatever. But, like, there's all this random ass shit, like, 200K for, like, foreign policy and, like, all this other shit that we ain't, like, what the fuck, dude? And we're, we're paying for that shit. 200 million, bro. Not, yeah. Not known 200K. They're spending fucking millions, millions of tax taxpayers' dollars. Sending millions of dollars to China for God knows wherever because, you know, just because China's an ally. No, I definitely have thought about that a lot. I've de- and have you heard about how people, if they say that it came from China, they're racist? Yeah. They called Joe Rogan a racist cause China- cause, and Trump because they were saying back in the day that it came from Wuhan, it came from China. They're like, it's not from China. It didn't come from them. You guys are racist just because they fucking yada yada yada. That's racist. Are we racist? I'm not racist. That's I, a, yeah, I have Chinese you know. friends. That's what, that's what I'm saying. They're starting to call people racist because they say it came from China. It's like, and then they like, so then where did it come from? And they just don't tell you. They're like, you can't say it's came from China, though. You ever that's watched racist. Red Dawn? Ooh, where the Russia, movie Red Dawn. Where Russia takes over. That's I happening. Feel like, I feel like fucking, like, they're low-key. Just, like, look at America fucking slowly just fucking themselves over. Oh, and yeah. Then, and then they're going to fucking do some 
bad fast shit. food debt inflation gas prices fucking everything dude like we're i'm so tired of people saying that we're the greatest country in the world like i i wouldn't want to live nowhere else don't be wrong like there's nowhere else in the world i can see myself living that i would like you know enjoy but man we're definitely not the fucking and they're like because freedom you know, because America has freedom, dude. There's so there's like fifty fucking countries that have freedom. And, a, dude. and, a, and other fucking fifth world countries and other places, bro. You don't really see a lot of fat people. No, you don't see a lot of, a lot of like homeless and shit no. like that. Yeah, like you see all these TikTokers. They're from England and America and fucking Australia and Brazil. There's no African fucking TikTokers, you know? Like, there's, I mean, there probably is, I'll get me wrong. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no people in villages making TikToks and shit. Yeah. They, like, we're just They're so almost fucking, fucking better off. They're almost, I know they're like, oh, poor. Because they're behind, you know, third world country eating dirt and shit. But yeah, like, but they're all, they're almost better off fucking saying, fuck all that shit. Dude. We're fucking good living off us, you know? Like, dude, yeah. No. Well, like, keep poisoning us, bro. I don't like the way that we're going in this world. It's scary. It's they, so scary. They, they let some. They let some old fuck with Alzheimer's fucking say, make call the shots, because because somebody puts some mean tweets. Tweets aren't real life, dude. Dude, tweet freedom of speech. Tweets aren't real life. He, he, Donald Trump so could have went on there and say, I want to murder everybody in America. And he's allowed to say that because of freedom of speech. Unless he acts upon that. Like, I can say right now, I want to murder your ass, Justice. But until I murder your ass, I can say whatever the fuck I want. Right. You know what I mean? He never, he never <laughs> threatened anyone. It's yeah. It's okay to have an opinion. Yeah. Like, mm, that's what I'm saying. It's it's so dumb. It's just like, oh, we're really tickled about this, this guy because he's a racist or whatever reason people don't like Trump. I wasn't a fan of him. I didn't think he was the best person. Yeah, I'm not. But saying. he was a damn good president. Mm -hmm. He did a good job. He did what he was supposed to do, like as job wise, you know. Yeah, no. I don't care about his fucking personal life and or his personal his opinions that, about fucking yeah. anything. If he's doing what the fuck, if he's helping the country fucking Dude. get better, like who gives a fuck? He's doing a good job, like. Dude. <laughs> stupid, y'all are making it a big deal by putting a limelight on it and blowing it up into this big thing you could have sh like you could have just shrugged it off and it just would have never been a topic again but the, you fuckers getting mad fucking doing all the shit just made it even more of a it's dumb we could go on for I was fucking say, hours I feel like we can go down this shit for hours man but i was say it's probably about that time our view count probably ain't shit now because y'all probably clicked the fuck away when we started talking about you know fucking politics and fucking covid and shit y'all like fucking misinformation but we everybody probably got uh, pissed some yeah, people are offended real. right now some people are probably never gonna watch us again i was gonna say like i said just our opinions and we want everybody has an opinion you guys have an opinion you guys can say it down below try not to be hateful but you know wherever the fuck it is you know and if your opinion's different i want to hear it i'm not yeah. saying i'm not saying fuck you if you if you are vaccinated and you that's how you feel like Do if you feel the you. opposite then i want i want to hear it like maybe i'm wrong you know change my mind you know i'm Dude, open yeah. to change like change i just mm -hmm. that's what this shit's about and it's sad that america is like so divided now it feels like because of this covid shit a low-key really yeah. sad a civil war is gonna happen but it ain't gonna be like no like you know back in the day where there's war like it's just, it's a social civil war like it literally is like you are People literally, oh god, I can't get anywhere. I was saying, but people literally just don't talk to people because their political views, this and that, yada yada yada. Like, it doesn't know. really matter at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that person isn't. That's not who they are. That's just their their view. Like, this is all just our view, third eye view. This is our views on everything. That's why exactly. we bring up topics and we talk about what our view is on them. You guys couldn't agree with anything. Could agree with some of it, you know, like like Kim K sex tape. Bitch, release that shit. Y'all probably like, what the fuck you talking about? You know, you guys could say like, you know, you know, he's saying fucking what's his name? Kanye West is a god, or no, not a god, but you know, Easy's good. You guys could say Easy's bad. It's just that's the whole point of the show, Third yep. Eye View. So, but anyways, you guys were here for another episode of the Third Eye View show where we talk about pop culture and music media. And while you guys get to know us along the way, you were with my main man, Three Eighteen Justice. Anything you want to say before you go, man? Uh. <laughs> I Disregard put on the females spot. acquire currency. <laughs> yeah. Much love to the viewers. Uh, right now, there's no video, but you know, th thank you guys for sticking through to the end. Like I said, there's probably like three people that actually sit here and watch this thing through and through. So, you know, appreciate it.
And anyways, but cornrows coming soon for you for your boy zombie here. I'm definitely gonna be having a picture down below of my uh, first attempt at cornrows, but I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna be getting some cornrows here soon. Is that once the hair. Carl Gallagher. Is that, <laughs> is that riff raff? <laughs> Riff raff from the building, damn. <laughs> but anyways, you guys are with three eighteen justice zombie once again, and this is third eye view episode five. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace out.